Hello people, welcome back to my let's play of Modern Warfare 3. Resuming where we last left off, we were playing as... Well, we were about to start as Yuri again. About to go to Somalia. <coughs> but before that, we were playing as a member of the FSO, and we had just got shot in the face by Makarov. Because, you know, Makarov's a jerk. I wonder why Sierra Leone. Anyway. Excuse me for a second, I gotta light something. Not a cigarette, but a uh, incense. So this is another stealthy, oops, excuse me for a second, sorry about that, this is another stealth like mission. So yeah, back on the grid, October 4th, I mean 5th, Yuri, Task Force, Task Force 141, disavowed, Sierra Leone, Africa. Don't know where in Sierra Leone. I've never been to Sierra Leone, and I don't have family there, despite being black. My family doesn't come from that part of Africa. We come from Kenya. That's a hyena. So yeah, these guys are doing with with a pen. So there's the guy who they were gonna torch. He's alive. We saved him. Pretty well armed for a bunch of uh, members of some some African militia. Usually, those guys are only armed with like surplus from ex sur with ex Soviet surplus. Like they usually armed with Kalashnikovs uh, and some B and maybe they might have a broken down BTR.
I doubt these guys have radios. Or they might and they just don't care. Next to be him. And you're dead. So yeah, we've been compromised. Now we can go loud. These guys know we're here. And that guy shot that guy hit me in the face. That quote is tr rather true, too. <laughs> Most people, I think, would, would probably think I'd be offended at fighting, fighting Africans. I'm not. Especially since these guys are supposedly genocide, are the kind of guys who perpetuate a genocide. I don't know how common that is in actual Africa. Although, Rwanda is any, if in Rwanda is any, uh, sorry of how bad those can be. These guys should be, these guys have no sympathy from me. Because, you know, genocide. Shotgun. <clears throat> and for once, it has actually moderately good range. Not not enough to actually be worth a, worth a damn to a real shotgun in my book, anyway. It's kind of shooting shotgun like this kind of reminds me of that time I played played Rise of the Triad, the old one, not the new one. That was a fun game, hard game.
Like I said, anytime I get to use, even though this isn't a minigun, anytime I get to use even a facsimile of a minigun, like a technical, really anything that can shoot, that can shoot more bullets than, that can shoot more bullets than the U.S. arm, than a, than a U.S. Abrams tank is, is good in my book. And since I've yet to find that, You can keep this. And that was sucky too, because I like using that technical. Lot. I never heard that term. Is that a British thing? Again, I've never heard that term before. It probably is a real term. Alright, kill that guy, kill this guy. You're dead, you're dead. How are you not dead? Yeah, occasionally these guys will survive bullets that shouldn't even let them exist afterwards. Like that one dude who I shot in the gut who just decided that he, uh, clutching his gut was good enough to save him from bullet wounds. I don't even know why I thought of using that gun. At least they're not looking at me. Well, that guy is, but he's but he's an idiot. I wonder if a suppressed AK-47 would actually hurt kick more. Because the, there's no muzzle flash. There's no muzzle velocity. 
the thing about suppressors is they they get rid of they get rid of a bit of the muzzle velocity, and that I think that helps with the recoil with an AK-47. So wouldn't it kick more? I don't know. I've never fired or suppressed a weapon in real life. Heck, they don't even sound like this. They sound slightly louder. I mean, pistols suppressed might sound a bit different. But for the most part, suppressed weapons do not make that nice little poof sound. What in the earth? This is a cool looking gun. Now, this is the part I kind of dislike in this level, because it's very easy to get killed. Because you're trying to get to that church, and while you're, there's no time limit, they keep urgently telling you to get to that church. Doesn't help that these two idiots are impervious to most bullets, so they, to, the bullets, so they get they can afford to get. Bloody hyenas! Alright, uh, this is the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time.